Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the Mothership. Three string cigar box guitar. I know it's a different one than I usually use, and there's a reason for it. So, this is Run Like Hell. This is Pink Floyd. I had lots of workarounds on this. Uh, my guitar is still tuned G, D, G. I put a capo on D. Okay, so this capo here is on the 7th fret. So let me show you what I'm doing and then we'll break this thing down. Playing through my Roland Cube. So that's the whole thing there. So, take this capo off. G, D, G. 42, 34, 24. Open G tuning. If you need a lesson on capos, I have a lesson on capos. I, there are many different kinds, many different ways to use them. But I am putting this on 7. So... G at the nut, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, and D. This up here at the 19th fret is going to become very important. So if your guitar doesn't have 19 frets, you're going to have to do workarounds. This one happens too. My other one as well does, but uh, I just like the sound of this combination, so that's why I have it. I'm playing through my Roland Cube. I've got the flanger turned almost all the way up. The delay is dimed as well, uh, so that I can get that... <laughs> and like I said, I'll show you those settings near the end of the video. So... In open D now is what we are, since we've put this on the seventh fret. That's what we sound like. So we're going to be putting our, our second finger here on F. You hear that delay? And you can fool around with that ping pong. That's what you're looking for in this song, is that ping pong back and forth. So you play it. Think of it as a ping pong game. Right? That's what you're trying to do. That's the effect, is the delay is, is, is extreme and there's a ping pong effect. That's what you're looking for there. So this intro section, you're just gonna fool around with this. All on that F. So G, G sharp A, B flat B, C, C sharp D, D sharp E and F. The chords do not change because the capo is on it. The chords stay the same. Okay, so F is still here and these are still F, okay? 
like using my middle finger because I can do a lot of pulling as opposed to this. That's just me. You can use a pinky if you wanted to. In fact, that'd probably be good exercise. You're going to be up here in the 19th fret and you're going to bar the D string and the G string I, right here. And you're going to play this open and then 19, 19. So it would look like 7, 19, 19. Then you're going to do this. So you're going to go 7, because you're here, open, 7, 19, 18. Then you're going to go 7, 17, 16. Or, yeah, and then you're going to go 16, 14. So, bar across, 19, then 19, 18. And then you're going to go 17, 16. Then you're going to go 16, 14. Then you're going to go 14, 14. Then you're going to go 12, 12. And then on the D string, 14, 16. So again, 19, 19, 19, 18, 17, 16, 16, 14, 14, 14, 12, 12, 14, 16 on that D string, so it sounds like That's the intro. You can play along with the album. So then we go to E Or I mean sorry, then we go to the run 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 part F which is right here on the 10th fret, bar. Run, 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 run. And then we go to A, which is now going to look like this. So A is now going to look like 9, 7, 9, but you only have to play these two strings because you got a capo here. So F, run, run. again E ninth fret bar F tenth fret bar E ninth fret bar C 12 10 12 A 9 open cuz you have a capo 9 And then E, 9, 9, 9, and then back to D. So I'm going to go through the whole entire thing one more time so you can look at it, and I'll try to call it out as I go. 19. All right, okay, here we go. 19. F, 10th fret, E, 
seven nine E nine 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 a D. That is this song. This is very advanced guitar work. It also, you need a very advanced guitar to do this with. Just letting you know, if you need extra help with capo work or anything like that, see my lesson on capos. Uh, not all capos fit all cigar box guitars. It's very rare that you find one that works. So make sure you take your guitar to a music store or at least uh, have one with a friend that puts theirs on yours and then you buy that exact one. Be very aware of this. You don't want to throw money away. There are other capos out there other than this type of design, but uh, this design works really well with this guitar and uh, that's why I'm using it. But it can be a little bit tricky. So that's this design. Works good with shallow necks. This is Uncle Mark in the Mothership, Run Like Hell. This is really an intermediate to advanced lesson. And uh, you could certainly use drop D tuning for this. You could do many things. But this is my way of doing it. And uh, so if you want to do it the Uncle Mark way, this is it. Sounds exactly perfect. Just letting you know, I play along with the album all last night and this morning with this. So it does work very, very well. I just can't sing it. So this is Uncle Mark and the Mothership. Three string cigar box guitar. Yeah, I do have a link down below. It's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark tips. And thank you all so much for donating. I really appreciate it. A buck a show is what we're looking for here. Thank you so much. A buck a show is all we're looking for here. So thank you so much for everything you do for me. I'm also on Facebook. I do post a lot of things on Facebook that you won't normally get on this channel. So you might want to look at that. It also talks about upcoming lessons and things I'm fooling around with and working on. And uh, thank you so much for the request on this. Um, I know it's been an awfully long time, but it took me a, quite a while to get this song mentally in my head. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much for everything you do, and we'll see you again soon. Here are my settings. You can see that my flanger is uh, way up there. There it is right there, my flanger. And... Uh, there's my delay, so you can mimic these. I'm on uh, the Brit Combo, so there you go.